So we're joined by my two friends. One is Buddy, that's my dog in the bed there. And this is Cowboy, Aww. my foster dog. And he's looking for a home. As you can tell, he's ferocious. You can help by never buying dogs. You can help by adopting dogs and helping to put puppy mills out of business, raising awareness for that. Anytime you buy a dog in a store, it's a dog from a puppy mill. A puppy mill is a horrible place where most dogs never get to live. They, well, all dogs never get to live inside a house, often don't get to live inside, are, are stacked often one on top of another in cages and their little paws never touch the grass. Um, they don't have human contact. The lucky ones are the puppies that get bought. The, the unfortunate ones are the ones that are kept there for years and years breeding. Um, so they're horrible, horrible places. And I got involved with it with my husband back in uh, 2001, right after 9-11. Uh, we adopted our first dog, Brandy. She was a toy fox terrier. She's on my website. And, and I talk about dog rescue on my website. If you go to my website, which is reyesacatonabennett.com, there's all these tabs and you can read about, about rescue and why it's important. Brandy was our first dog. And we adopted her when she was about seven and a half years old. And she was incredible. She made us a family. And uh, we'd had her about two and a half months when someone approached us about fostering an old chihuahua named Goldie. Mm -hmm. And um, long story short, that's how we got started fostering and volunteering. And the year that my husband, my husband was a facial plastic surgeon and a sinus surgeon, and he did a fellowship down in Birmingham for a year. So when I went down there with him, I became a dog trainer. Because I just I've always loved animals, and I learned how to train dogs to make them more adoptable, not to make them do tricks. Although I can, you know, just to teach them how to feel safe and be a good citizen and stuff like that. And um, and so uh, that just kind of started us on our journey of getting involved with rescue and fostering. Throughout the pandemic, we have fostered ourselves over 40 dogs, not at the same time, obviously. Our <laughs> uh, our most recent ones um, was Marley, was a um, King Charles Cavalier that I adopted to my good friend, Natasha Yvette Williams, who is the star of, of uh, she was in Parade With Me, that's why I met her. She starred in Some Like It Hot as Sweet Sue. And, and she's most recently, she's done eight Broadway shows. And so she told me she wanted a King Charles Cavalier. And I said, we've got him. So I got Marley and fostered him. And then she and her husband and their two wonderful children have him now and he's living a wonderful life and then we had Shallot, another uh, a cavapoo who I adopted to a lovely couple in, in uh, New Jersey and then we had Dolly and Daisy which were two adorable um, three and a half and four and a half pound chihuahuas long hair beautiful girls and they just went to a good friend of mine North Carolina and the last one of that group left is Cowboy <laughs> and Cowboy's um, a one and a half year old toy poodle, maybe with something else in him because he's adorable ears. Mm. You can also see great video of him on my Facebook page. He's he's just a great little dog um, and he needs, we'd love to get him in his forever home soon for two reasons. One is this little guy never really had a puppyhood because he was used as a breeder in a puppy mill, which means, so he lived his whole life in a, a confined area, maybe four by four, four feet by four feet and didn't have this didn't have this loving and this cuddling can you and look at how much he loves it i mean it's just heartbreaking he's very tired today why are you so tired you're exhausted you're exhausted sweet thing um yeah i mean we we volunteer with a particular group called shih tzu and fur baby small breed dog rescue um whenever i sell a cd 100 of the, of the um, percent of the profits go to this dog rescue I have three CDs, um, and they're, you can find about see them on on Amazon or you or iTunes. Two of them you can. The other one you have to get through my website. I still need to get it on iTunes. And um, it, we're based out of the rescue is based out of St. Mary's, Georgia, and we transport up and down the Eastern Seaboard. We have transport once a month. We just had this last weekend, where people volunteers drive like an hour and a half, two hours with a bunch of dogs, and then the next group picks them up and continues to drive them north and vice versa. And uh, that's how we do that. And um, we're taking an awful lot of dogs in because uh, 
unfortunately down south puppy mills are not illegal and so that's a education letting people know that it's a horrible business and uh you know these are these are sentient beings these are beings beings with feelings and they deserve better